watching Paula Ogana, Laura Yamada, Kenny Choi, Weather with Chief Meteorologist Justin Fujioka, and Sports with Robert K. Calva. This is KITV4 News at 6. University of Hawaii students are digging up a portion of Hawaii's history dating all the way back to World War II. The excavations are underway at the former Honolulu Uli internment camps above Kunia. As KITV4 Shane Enright reports, the students are hoping to reveal a clearer picture of the past. Beneath the overgrown brush is a story quietly revealing itself. On the hillside above Kunia is the former Honolulu Uli internment camp. It is one of five camps in the islands where the United States military interned Japanese Americans during World War II. It's a story in Hawaii's history that was nearly forgotten. Many people, even till today, really have never heard of the internment in Hawaii. Landowner and agriculture company Monsanto is donating the more than 160 acres for educational use. Students at the University of Hawaii's West Oahu campus took a trip into the fields this afternoon. The anthropology majors are gaining valuable hands-on experience, not taught in a classroom. A lot of people in Hawaii don't know about this place, and it's real good for us to learn, and then we can go out in the community and we can educate people. The Japanese Cultural Center of Hawaii is leading tours to the excavation sites to provide a glimpse into the past. Hours of shoveling dirt revealed a bowl dated 1941, glass bottles, and an underground sewage system. Teams also exposed concrete slabs where the internees washed their clothes and ate meals together. There was a place where they can at least, I'm sure, get away from the tents and the buildings and um, have some social interaction. Students and volunteers are relying on basic tools along with modern day technology to uncover an emotionally charged time in Hawaii's history. It's the human factor that um, these were Japanese American citizens and um, their rights were taken from them and the thought of that happening or possibly happening today or in the future is pretty appalling. Shane Enright, KITV4 News. Now, the uh, Monsanto company is hoping to donate the land to the National Park Service. Last month, the governor signed a law aimed at preserving Honolulu's history.